A very God morning to each and every one of you and uh, wonderful that you're able to join us. Don't forget if you are watching on YouTube to subscribe and then hit the notification bell as well so that you're notified every time we do have content that's loaded up for you. Uh, we're continuing, of course, with our prayer and fasting, and we've been having a phenomenal time. Every night we've been gathering together in the dome. So if you can make it, we'd love to see you. Yes, we'd love and, to see you. And uh, tonight it's about fearless freedom. And uh, I've, I'm sensing in my heart we're going to be praying for people, um, whatever it is that you feel is holding you back, limiting you. Because the truth of the matter is that God desires every one of us walk in freedom. Right. Do you know God's and, word says, <clears throat> I've come to give you life and life more abundantly. Right. That's right. So we're not, we weren't just given life to just walk around. And to make it to heaven. Yes. But that we can experience that life here. That's right. And that life means an unquestionable freedom. That's right. And that's our first prayer point, um, is that we ask that every member of the DCC family. And you know what, even if you're not part of the DCC yes. family and you're watching us, we uh, still love that's, you. this Amen. is for you as well. Amen. You're included as well. But that every one of us would experience unquestionable freedom. And, um, and complete you know, freedom. Yeah, and of course, that that's, that's not only did Jesus die on the cross to get us born again and mm. saved and our names written in the Lamb's Book of Life and to make it to heaven, but ultimately that there would be a freedom yes, to that enjoy uh, life. the power of bondage mm. that comes from the enemy was broken and that breaking of that bondage is what gives you and I Amen. the ability to walk in freedom. So John 8, 36 says in the Passion Translation, so if the Son sets you free from sin, then become a true son and be unquestionably, unquestionably free, Amen. all right? Galatians 5 and 1 in the Amplified says it was for this freedom that Christ set us free, completely liberating us. And so I want you to know that in God's eyes and in God's mind, He wants us to be free. There's no question about it. God wants us to walk wrapped up in this body of flesh right now on this earth. He wants us to walk in that freedom, to enjoy that liberty. And so I'm just sensing in my heart tonight, we're gonna pray. Those of you that feel, you know what, there's a, a, there's a couple of things that are limiting me, hindering me, whatever, whatever it is, we're gonna pray and trust that every one of us walk in complete freedom. Well, that's Amen. what Jesus died for. That's what he died for. And whom the Son sets free is free indeed. And for this purpose, the Bible says, was the Son of God made manifest that he might destroy the works Amen. of the enemy. So 2,000 years ago, the work of the enemy was, was destroyed so that you and I can walk in absolute Amen. freedom. Amen. Here's the confession. And we want you to say this together with us with all the boldness and all the faith that you have in Jesus' name. You ready? Here we go. The, the unquestionable freedom of Jesus is mine. I have been completely liberated. I am free. Let's say that again. I am free and I will remain free every day. I enjoy the benefits of freedom. My feet are firmly planted within the freedom that Jesus has won for me. Amen. And so we're believing that for you and your family. There are other prayer points, of course. You can see that uh, on the website and on the church app as well. All right, it's there for you. But let's pray before we go. Father, we're just trusting and believing for everyone that the freedom that was secured by Christ on the cross would be the same freedom that we would experience now and here in this day and age. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. and amen. We love you. Until next time, God, God bless, bless you. you.